Remember this? These are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that. Cause I'm gonna keep it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. No, it's just that I'm just naturally like that. Like the shit I do for him is natural. And your natural ass is gonna get played. If you are making a man's life easier, i.e. cooking, cleaning, providing pussy whenever he wants and he's giving you the minimum, he's never going to do more. Now, this is before she found a man to make her delusional. Because here's the reality, bro. Once a woman have a bird mentality, her main objective is to find a man that's going to make her delusional, right? where all her morals, her standards, and things like that is out the window. For the right price, you could change these women's minds. Let's be real. And here's the thing. Until then, a woman with a bird mindset will hate on good women because of bitterness and jealousy. So she's going to put down other women. Oh, y'all some pick knees and whole time. All these women are doing is making their relationship healthy by doing what they need to do by playing their roles. Right. But a bird is going to be on the outside looking in and she's going to start hating on those women and whole time. She just want to be in their position. And that's the sad part. Because these women really want to be in those pick me's position, but instead they're going to display hate instead of being real with themselves. Because check this out. This is what this chick did right after. So if y'all don't know, I'm the third one and this is his sixth child. Someone said, ooh. <laughs> right, couldn't have been me. All right, so the rich nigga put that pressure on me. And this is why you should never pay attention to a woman's words. Always pay attention to her actions. Because a woman will always say the opposite. Facts. And I keep telling you all, bro, when a woman is on the internet doing podcasts and making little videos and stuff like that, bro, I keep telling you all, they are who they are. They are for the streets. A real virtuous woman is not about to get on the internet and talk about stuff like this. I'm just keeping it real. You all have to pay attention to a woman energy. And look, this is a normal thing, okay? Because this chick also did the same thing. I hate to cuss like this, but it's the only way I could get the message across, okay? Men who want to fuck you have no action behind their words. They say shit like, I want to see you. I'm thinking about you. No action behind that. They just talking because it's easy and it's free, right? Men who want to fuck with you send you flowers and then they ask you if you're available at seven for dinner. It's a very big difference. Men who really are interested in you apply pressure or they don't press send. Okay? Men who are just talking and telling you all the time they think about you and they want to see you and oh let's just be together. Talk. You're just talking. You just you're annoying. <laughs> okay? It's a very big difference. When a man wants to really deal with you, he puts pressure on you. He won't let you slip through his fingers. So anything less is you accepting less. It's better to wait for something real. A few moments later.
got too much consistency consistency going on. I can tell. Y'all don't like to see nobody win. Y'all don't like to see nobody happy. It's something about a man that could keep you in your power that'll make you want to ride until the wheels fall off. But it's no way I care about what you think. It's no way. It's no way you think that I think that I care about what you think. Couldn't be true. <laughs> After Rick Ross had his fun, of course he moved around because that's what he's supposed to do and he got him a new boo. What's up y'all? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. What's up y'all? It's your boy Ricky Rose in the building, the biggest you already know what it is, Nino Breeze. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. These women are only after Rick Ross for his money. So it's only right that he treat these birds like who they are. But Cam, on the other hand, he had a baby by this chick. Me, being who I am, mm -hmm. I can take anybody mm -hmm. and transform them into who I want them to be. Waiting for everybody to get home so they can have a hot meal after practice. And it's up and it's stuck. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Now that everything is done, I'm going to put my baby to sleep. Um, I don't know about y'all. I don't know what brings you guys joy, but it really brings me joy to serve. I love being a servant. I love to serve. I, it just brings me joy. <laughs> I love it. I love serving. I, I, I love it. I love it. I don't give a damn. I'll be up at 6 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning, cooking breakfast, serving. I just love that. I love it. Yeah. It's like, it just gives me purpose. And now with the new baby, now I just feel even more purposeful. Especially like when I breastfeed. Oh, I feel so full of life. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Come on, baby. C-A-P- Amazing. This is the same woman who said this. These are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that shit out. When a woman wants something, she will apply herself. She will make the right changes to get what she wants. And in this case, she want to be able to keep a man with money. Because she know if she don't get on her shit, he's going to dismiss her and replace her. Look who is a pick me now. But y'all already know she's doing all this in hopes that he make her his wifey. In hopes that he put a ring on that finger. But this is Cam Stan's on marriage. My desire to get married mm -hmm. is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as you had said, Dr. Bryan, you said it, I didn't say it, I will agree. I'm just taking my time. <laughs> sensational so it looks like she's just gonna be a single baby mother let's be real because he has the reality she's gonna stick around until she get fed up of him not proposing to her and she will eventually return back to the streets that's how it usually goes but until then what does a submissive woman do for her man everything <laughs> what does that mean you know like packing his bag unpacking his bag um just making sure all the things that he wants and like I, I pretty much read his mind so it's like if i know you and i study you like i know how you are in the morning i know how you are about midday i know when you're in this mood what you need like before you can ever ask me for something i'm already on it i mean he's spoiled and you know when i talk to my girlfriends about it, they're like oh how are you guys doing and i'm just like girl he's rotten I'm like, he's spoiled rotten. Like, he's rotten. But I love that. Like, I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. But my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself. And I used to hate that about myself. But now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. <laughs> Okay. So let me get this straight. 
you used to hate that about yourself, but all of a sudden, you love it now? What change? Man, that money make a chick do anything, boy. That money make a chick say and do anything, baby. When a woman is a bird, she's controlled by the crumbs, people. Understand that. She's not into Cam. No, she don't love that, man. She loved that money, though. She loved the fact that he could provide. She loved the stability. But let's be real. She don't really love that. And he knows that. And I got to respect Cam for handling this situation the way he's handling it. He's controlling it. Now, having all these baby mothers, bro. After a while, that child support going to be looking crazy. And fellas, y'all got to be careful out here because I seen men go broke from having to pay too much child support. I seen it. So fellas, y'all got to be careful out here having kids with these birds because here's the reality. These women, if you're not going to propose to them, they are okay living off the child support. So let's be careful. But anyway, this is what Cam had to say about this chick. You are not going to tell me you up here person it's not finna happen no 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 see you're trying to deflect back to me no i would never do you like that but, but i got respect me. for you I understand this you didn't answer for a reason i'm gonna answer mine and then i want you to answer mine too how long are you talking about what you mean <laughs> person what do you mean how long i'm talking about as long as i've been with jazz Jazz has not been the only person that I've had sex with. My nigga. <laughs> Treat a bird like a bird, man. Look, you know how dumb a man gotta be to be loyal, to be faithful to a woman who is with him only because of his money and status? It's only a fool will be loyal to a woman like that, man. Fellas, one thing as a man like you don't do, bro, is be loyal to a bird. You have nothing to gain being loyal to a woman like that. And look, here's the reality, bro. Women like her don't really have much value. All they got to go off of is the fact that they look pretty to a lot of men. They are desirable in a lot of men's eyes. However, that's just the surface. These types of women don't have any depth to them. And when a man sees a woman who is attractive, he wants to smash. It's in his nature. But after he smash, the chase is over. The chase is over because he already conquered her. The victory is already won. So if a woman don't have anything besides the fact that she's pretty to keep that man interest, he will slowly lose interest. Every time you have sex with her, as crazy as that sounds. But that's just the reality of women who are just out here with a pretty face. That's it. That's why it's like you can't cheat the game. A bunch of women out here think, oh, well, I'm pretty, so I should be able to attract a man who is successful. Being pretty is just one aspect of it. What else can you bring to the table? Like, who are you? Like, do you have any substance within yourself? Like, are you just pretty? Because after that man busts his nut, that pretty shit is really out the window. You regular now. No matter how pretty a woman is, after a man smash her, that pretty shit is out the window because I already smashed. So now it's about who are you? And a lot of times, bro, these women ain't got nothing behind that pretty face. But anyway, this is what she said in response. And look, this is how these birds act when that money makes them delusional. And by the way, like I said, she's not seeing Cam. Y'all got to understand, she's seen that money. She's seen that money on. That's all she's seen. So that's why she will say something like, I'm fine. Trust me. I know who and what my nigga is. What that means is like, yo, he's too rich for me to leave. And that's why, fellas, you can't take these birds serious bro you just gotta have your fun and move around trust me because when a woman will do anything for money when a woman will drop her morals her standards she's no different 
than a prostitute, bro. She's no different than a sex worker. They all doing the same thing. They all got the same goal. One is more direct and one is a bit indirect, but it's still direct though. One is more instant, one is more delayed, but it's still the same thing. They are both fucking a nigga for money. That's what it comes down to. And when a woman is after a man with money, this is how she sounds. Fellas, be wise out here, bro. But please leave your thoughts in the comments. It's your boy AQ. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that shit out. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. No, it's just that I'm just... If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.